Georgian and US scientists at the Mining Institute of Georgia are blowing things up. They're developing a system that will reduce the damage caused by explosions in confined spaces. This tunnel is designed to replicate the motorway tunnels, railway tunnels, coal mines, bunkers, anywhere where we have the risk of explosion in any confined space. Explosions and ensuing fires in confined spaces such as transport tunnels, coal mines and military bunkers are more dangerous and create more damage than a similar explosion in the open. But to understand why explosions in confined spaces like this one cause so much damage, we first need to understand the science. When we have an explosion in open space, the detonation expands very quickly and dissipates. However, when we have a confined explosion, the same detonation that initially expands will reflect from the rigid surfaces and be contained in the space, remain longer and cause more damage. Funded by NATO's Science for Peace and Security program, or SPS, the scientists have built a replica tunnel to study explosions. But for the big explosions, they have a 255 metre network of tunnels finished in the 1980s. We are in the explosive chamber. This is the dummy. He is equipped with different sensors to study the effect of explosions on the human. And after uh, several explosions, he is still alive. <laughs> <laughs> and while the dummy has a raw deal, for the scientists, each blast is an opportunity to refine their system for limiting its damage. We are in the blast chamber at the facility, and behind me is one of the key things that they're working on here, and that is this, the absorber. And what happens is, after the sensors sense an explosion, water fires out of the nozzles here, and that contains the explosion and prevents it from going any further into the tunnels. After a detonation, the wireless sensors take under 10 milliseconds to trigger the water absorber, quick enough to intercept the blast wave before it can travel down the tunnel. We develop all sorts of different technologies in the hopes that they will be used uh, both for military and for civilian purposes. Fuel trucks, for example, have exploded inside tunnels causing catastrophic accidents. And if those civilian road tunnels were protected by systems like this one, uh, those catastrophic failures could be contained and lives could be saved. The scientists hope that this technology will be used in a variety of places after the programme is completed next year. So when it comes to limiting the damage caused by explosions in confined spaces, there is light at the end of the tunnel. This is Jake Tupman from Tbilisi for NATO Channel.